and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to make a quick video talking about the Netflix original film that was released yesterday called To The Bone. It features Lily Collins and Keanu Reeves. If you didn't know already it's about a girl with anorexia and a little bit of an insight into her life. This has been very controversial and I think I'm worried that this video might be a bit controversial. People might disagree or they might agree. I'm just putting out there my opinions. Um, if you didn't know already I've had anorexia for 17 years. That's roughly just over half my life. I saw the trailer a few weeks ago and there were bits of it that I saw that I liked the look of but there was also some imagery in there that I knew that might possibly upset me. Um, I'm not somebody that is easily triggered, it's not a word that I like to use because it just sounds stupid to me and it kind of makes a big thing out of it but you know I'm not somebody that's easily upset by things. Um, I was when I was younger. I've kind of gotten a bit of grip of those kind of things. They, I mean, it's never really affected me massively. Overall, I really enjoyed this film. I think uh, there was a spate of films in the 90s, like made for TV, like made for TV films that were just horrific and cheesy and um, about anorexia or eating disorders that were just pretty shocking and they were very samey. Um, so I think this could have gone into that territory. And I think it, I think it did well. Um, as a film by itself, like irrespective of the fact that it's about a subject that I am very attuned to and means a lot to me, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of funny and touching and sweet. It wasn't perfect. I'm going to go on to the bits that I didn't like in a minute. Yeah, overall, I did like it. What have I written down? I could relate to a lot of things. Now, first of all, the one thing that I'll say is that I know that a lot of people will be like, this didn't portray anorexia or this portrayed it in a glorified way or glamorised it. Um, or it's not at all what I can relate to. Now, everybody's journey is different, so while the majority of people might not be able to relate to it, um, some people might be able to relate to it. And this was a story about um, Eli, or Ellen's journey um, in the film. It was a story about her disorder, so whilst it might not reflect every single person with an eating disorder, this was about her, and that's, I think, something that needs to be remembered. Everyone's eating disorder is different, everyone's journey is different, and this just happened to be a film about her journey. I could relate to quite a lot of the um, uh, eating disorder, the habits and some of her thinking processes. I thought that was very well portrayed. I think Lily Collins did a great job. I think the one the one thing that I think a lot of people were talking about is her weight and the fact that she has had an eating disorder in the past and she dropped weight before the film. It's worrying um, to do that because I think you have to be in a very stable place to do that. If she's done it and she's okay and all of that then I think that's great. Yeah it is a worry but nobody knows I don't know her, people watching this video probably don't know her, so I think it's not our place to say whether or not she was in the right frame of mind to do that. So some of the things that I like, I liked the fact that binge eating was included and was shown as being as serious um, as other eating disorders because it is not given the same, um, what's the word, I can't think of the word, people don't think of it as serious, they think it's just maybe eating too much chocolate or too much whatever. It was shown as being a serious eating disorder, some but one of the inpatients had a binge eating disorder. Um, I liked the fact that there was a variety of um, people, there was uh, different races shown, you know, the majority of the girls with anorexia were white girls, but there was a boy in there, and I think, you know, whilst it, whilst it would be great to show every kind of race, every gender, this was, as I said earlier, this is just a film about these people's story, um, and you can't get everything right and please everybody at the same time. I also liked the fact, um, that it showed um, an element of chewing and spitting. That's something that not a lot of people talk about, but a lot of people do uh, with eating disorders. It's something that I struggled with for a long time, and for me it was very shameful and disgusting, and it made me feel horrific. And I think the fact that it kind of just put it completely out there, you know, she was doing it right out in the open, it kind of... Um, I'm hoping that it's not going to be people aren't going to kind of take it as tips and go well I'll try that. I'm hoping that it might be a way for people to see that it's not something to be ashamed about and that you can talk about it and be open about your habits and what you're doing. I think this film might lend itself well to um, anyone that wants to watch this film irrespective of having an eating disorder. As I said I enjoyed it as a film in itself but family and friends of people with an eating disorder who may not understand it may help them understand some of the thought processes a bit better so I liked that. One thing that I've written down that I really felt is I think it would have lended itself so much better as a TV series, like a mini series, like six episodes, so you could explore the other characters a bit more. I think um, 
by the end of the film you were just kind of warming to people and getting to know them and then suddenly it finished and I think it would have been I would have loved to have seen it as like a six-part miniseries. Everyone is triggered and affected by different things and because this is gaining quite a lot of attention one thing I will say is if you feel that it may be something that may upset you don't feel you have to watch it or if you started watching it and you're not enjoying it or um, it's upsetting you, turn it off, you don't have to watch it. Another few things that I liked is I liked the fact that there were very little or, um, there were very little numbers involved. Yes, there was some calorie, uh, calorie counting, and I think weight was only mentioned once, but um, it wasn't kind of very in your face um, as a lot of the other kind of cheesy TV films do with kind of like the numbers and tape measures and all of that. I think the fact that that was kept to a minimum was quite healthy. As I said earlier, I liked the fact that there were a few funny bits in it because much as we don't want to admit it, there are some comical things about it. Some of the things I didn't like, I didn't like the whole Rexy thing. I thought that was just, I didn't like, I didn't like that. It's like giving a name to it. Like when people call anorexia Anna, I hate that. So Rexy, I didn't like that at all. I thought it was just a bit silly. Um, but I can understand why they did it, but for me, it, it wasn't for me. I think my biggest bugbear about the film was it had a very unrealistic portrayal of treatment. Whilst there may be treatments out there that are like the ones seen in the, in the film, I, I think that that's nothing like what you would encounter over here. Over here it's very clinical um, and uncaring and difficult to get, difficult to get into treatment um, and the whole process is completely different. Uh, there might be a few private places in America that are similar to to the one seen in the film, but I think it might make people watching it think um, that they're going to get an easy ride going into treatment if they think it's going to be like that. Or, alternatively, if there are people that have had really tough experiences with treatment and people around them don't understand why it was tough and why it didn't work for them, they might be like, well, in the film it was like this, so it should have been fine, and it doesn't work like that. And the, the last thing I wanted to talk about, which is kind of, it seems so out of place, but it's the bottle moment at the end of the film. I'm, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to give any spoilers away, um, just in case you do want to watch it. But all I'll say is the bottle moment. I think it was supposed to be a serious moment, and I completely understand where it was coming from, but to me, it seemed more comical. It wasn't supposed to be comical, it was a very deep part of the film, but I just thought it was a bit strange and silly, but I think... Um, I can completely see that that could happen, it's just not something that happens a lot. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on the film. As I said, if you want to watch it, if you think that you're not going to be affected by it, then go ahead. I enjoyed this film and I actually would probably watch it again. I don't really know what else to say. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, then leave them down below. Please like this video, share it around, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again soon.